the sergeants, the topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes were prepared in me in the day that thou wast created. Okay, that's good. In other words, he's calling them King Tyrus, but he's really talking about Satan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what does that remind you of? That reminds you of the time when Jesus was rebuking Satan, but he was called his, uh, was rebuking Peter, but called him Satan. Say, Satan, get thee behind me. But he was saying, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> see? And that's what he's doing here, because he, he's looking at that human being, but there's a bigger force that he's dealing with here. Glory to God. And what he's doing here is describing Satan who has entered into this king. And he's saying to him, you were, you were somebody at one time. You were an anointed cherub. You was over the heavenly choir. That's why you have to watch music and stuff. Just cause it's bumping and beating doesn't mean it's holy. Just cause it's bumping and being beating doesn't mean the spirit is in it. You can tell the difference like Tasha Cobb when she sung that song, what that song she sung? Um, Tasha Cobb. She came out with a song a few years ago. That song, huh? Take me to the king. Not Take Me to the King was good, but this was one, another one. I know her whole album, but I'm just Yeah, but that, that, that song was so amazing, it just pulls you. And you can hear other people singing, and it doesn't pull you. You say, oh yeah, that's a nice sound. But then there's something that pulls at you. Yeah. Yes. Huh? And that's, that's that the anointing has to be in a song. That's the difference. A lot of people make good songs, songs out there, but if there's no anointing, it's the anointing. You still have to understand, uh, uh, musicians, that it's the anointing that's going to destroy the yoke. Amen. Amen. And so Satan was, uh, he was the, over the worship center in heaven. And uh, it's saying the day that thou made him, so he was made like that when he was born. Some of you were born into families that had apostolic heritage. You were born into that. Tell me, I was raised in it all my, I've been, that's all I know. Yeah, but you better know, be able to keep pressing. Because you're going to have to know something for yourself. Amen? You're going to have to know God for yourself. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Old Testament, they had the family uh, lineage. Amen? The priesthood passed on down, and, and in our lives today, we see it with ministers, don't we? You know, a minister, uh, father is a minister, and it passes on. You can sort of see it passing on, pass on to the children. It's something in that human form that God uses. But in the human form, in the day in which we live, you still got to know Jesus for yourself. And so that's how you got to know the difference between soul and body, because that's all they had in the Old Testament. They didn't have the Holy Ghost. They didn't. Jesus hadn't died. The blood wasn't applied. That's when on the day when he rose from the grave and he had conquered, did a lot of work on the cross, and we'll talk about it another time. He had really taken care of Satan in some deep and serious ways. He took care of death, and he took care of sin, because sin entered in uh, when Adam transgressed the law. Sin entered in. Why? He came in through... Uh, pride came in through his ego and death followed in because the death is a result of ego and that's why you're scared of death you know everybody who's in their ego they scared to die but everybody who's in Christ they saying hey no look he's coming yes. <laughs> hallelujah everybody who's in your own flesh that's how you can know the difference you don't want him to come you're scared. But if you're in the spirit, you've already died. You're resurrected with him. And you're looking for that greater existence, not just some tawdry existence down here. Go by an airplane, somebody own a boat. What's that? Somebody can live in a big house with seven rooms. What's that? You, know, you get to a place where you begin to understand the difference. Who said that that was important? I hear you, son. I'll get with you in just a second. I'm on a roll. But then you see those uh, mansions go over to places. Uh, you see uh, wolves and foxes and birds flying in mansions. See silk beds, that are uh, homes that have been abandoned and whatever. You see ants and roaches crawling over. What's that? It's 
some man-made stuff. Glory to God. These are things that Satan has set up using humanity, using human beings. When Adam fell and he became religious, he started setting up institutions, things that now are strongholds. And we, we're born into this world and believe in the things that we see. We come here and we believe that there's an American dream. We bought into that. We're brainwashed. We, buy, we come here believing the things that we see. We come here believing that these things have power. And yes, they do have power because they got a spiritual force behind them to keep us following after them. Long as you don't follow after God, long as you're not uh, uh, hungry and thirsty for righteousness, long as you're not seeking Him, He doesn't. Uh, uh, these strongholds, these structures that are here. When America was founded, there was no White House. That's built. So forth and so on. Amen. <laughs> You know, and just cause somebody, and you know, this week, and a lot of you already knew this, but you have never been a slave. So somebody, somebody, somebody sitting over there telling me, saying, you a slave, the devil is a liar. I have not been a slave, and my folks weren't no slaves. We talking about warfare here. Amen. We talking about getting to understand, yeah, warring against the institution. You said that. Glory to God. And just like uh, you hear that scripture where they try to say Ham was cursed, amen? You try to say the black people are, are cursed. You've never been cursed by God. Ham, God told me this week, he said, Ham, those three sons of uh, Noah, all three of them had problems. <laughs> That's what God told me. <laughs> Around here trying to try to tell you you got a problem. No, you got my face. You got a problem. You go deal with yours. See, once God starts opening your eyes, it's no end to what you can see. Your God prays up in your soul. God has opened my eyes. I began to see things as they really are. I can see what God does and what man does. Then I can make a choice. Which side am I on? I heard Joshua when he asked a question. Who, uh, uh, who, who, whose report do you believe in, in Isaiah? But then God asked, I heard Joshua when he said, choose you this day, who you going to serve. Amen. I'm going to serve God. Amen. Because before there was something, there was nothing. And he brought something out of nothing. So I think I'll hang with him. Because it might look like nothing. But since he's a God that can make something out of nothing, I think I'm going to ask him. We didn't get to the ask. We didn't get to the ask. Amen. Amen. So you can ask, because you got every right to ask your Heavenly Father. But whatever it is, you got one minute or 30 seconds. Whatever it is that you need from God, you got every right to ask Him. And in that asking, expect Him to move on your behalf. Yeah. Why? Because you are spirit, He's spirit, and you're spirit. And you can't let your mind get in there and try to figure out stuff, because your mind is contaminated with ego. And we'll talk a little bit more about it, about ego. In the midst of how many voices talking to you, one of them voices is God. And this is the voice that got the real power. Huh? That's the voice I don't care what, how many ways it looks like you're being pulled. Sometimes you hear people saying they hear voices. That's all right to hear this voice. I began to understand all these false religions out here now. Yes. And these books on mindfulness, and if you look around, they open up meditation centers and stuff. You start looking, they're opening up yoga shops. And the people buying it into it because the false religion has mixed in uh, uh, with our Christian, so-called Christian society. But the saints got to be able to know the difference. Praise God, hallelujah. You don't identify with none of those things. They say, don't wear white in September. I'm going to put me on some white. <laughs> <laughs> who are you to tell me what to wear? And who are you to judge me because I wear it? Because right. <laughs> you buy into it. I'm not buying into it no more. I've been bound long enough. Right. I'm trying to be free in the freedom in which Christ has set me free. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
and in the process trying to help somebody else. Amen. Anybody here getting an understanding? Because that's what he said, the Son of God has come and given us an understanding. These things were man-made. And they got powers that, that are enforcing them. That's why we have to look at these things as we look at things fall from heaven. Well, we thank God for this lesson today. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And thank him for every little nugget he gives us. He has not cast his pearls before swine in this house today. No. Somebody here, no. praise God, was glad to hear it and hear it again. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for tender mercies and loving kindnesses. Thank you for bringing us out, God, and taking us to another place in you, God. Opening the eyes of our understanding. God, we just can't praise you enough for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 This is a day. You can feel it, can't you? Can't you feel it? There's something in the air out here today. Somebody's going to be set free in another way here today. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see it on you. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Watch and see. God knows that we definitely need God. You make a move, you make a move, you make a gesture, you reach out. How you feeling this morning? Watch this good. Good, good. I like that dress. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 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 You follow, you do what God says. You make a move, God's going to do it. All you got to do is do this. You told me that. You say, How you feeling this morning? Good. 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 Good.